today I'll be showing you how to make the honeycomb loom band. So if you don't know how the honeycomb loom band looks like, it basically looks like this. It's like a double single chain bracelet going zigzag. It looks like a honeycomb. Okay, so that is how it looks like. So the materials you will be needing today is your your choice of color rubber bands. I'm just going to be using neon. And S or C clip, I'm using an S clip. You will need your hook and your wing board. And you want to position your wing band um, your wing board in a staggered position. And you want to make sure that the that the curved size Sides are pointing up. up. Okay, or up or away from you. Okay, so let's get started. So first, what you want to do is clear up everything that will distract you. So I have heard my S clip and hook out of the way. So now, what you're gonna do is take your lip bands. I think they might. Put you guys down just for a better view. Okay. So you guys can see properly. Okay. I'm just setting up my light. Which I think this side is better. You want to take your first, so you want to make sure that your arrows are pointing up. So you want to take your first claw, I'm just using mustard yellow, and you want to start from the first middle peg, and you're just going to hook that on to the first second peg, second claw. And then you want to go with, and then from that peg, you're going to go up one peg in the same column. And if you know how to do the starburst, this is just the starburst but without the border. And then from that peg to, to the peg diagonally above it. Okay. Like that. And we're going to repeat on the other side. So again, taking the colors. And again. And. <coughs> All the way up. <coughs> so it should look like a hexagon because you're using six pegs. Now you wanna, so we're gonna, gonna start from this peg. So the peg right above it. Okay. So now the color I am going to be using is blue. So from that this peg, we're going to go to this peg. You want to push all of the bands down for easy hooking later on and you're just going to stretch that over to that peg. Okay. And now we're going to go from this peg to this peg. So we're just going to repeat that all the way up. And this peg to this peg. And then you're going to go from this peg to 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 this peg. So I'll just show you guys one more time, then I'll fast forward. There, there, okay, there, and then come 
put in the hexagon. So she looked like this. Now you want to do this all the way up to your lid. So I'm going to be fast forwarding this part. Just go to desktop. I okay. So now, once you have done that all the way, so you think she'll look like this? Put my camera down, and then at the end, you are going to be placing a cap. So a cap band is, you stretch your cap band and then you twist into a big array and then you just take and then you just put your two fingers in that. So double fold and I'm just going to put it over at the end. So now this is the hooking process. So now you want to flip your room over so that the arrows are pointing to you or towards you. Now what you're going to do is get your hook and what you're going to do is you're going to push the yellow cap band away. Oops. So my other friends are coming here. Which you don't want. Okay, you're going to push it back. Then you want to grab this band. You're going to find that this one is at the top. Just, just maybe we're gonna hold it down. Okay. So as you can see, my one opened, and sometimes uh, it does open, but here's a quick fix. Okay. So you're gonna. I'm just gonna fast forward. If you want to learn how to do a fix, uh, just leave me a thing in the comment and I'll do it for you. Okay, so you're going to make a cap band. Okay, okay, so again, I'm gonna pull the cat band and I'm gonna get this band. So, I need that band. Or, I'm just gonna start off with this side first because that's what comes out first. Whatever comes out first. And then, to that band. So just gonna look from this part up to this part and this part up to this part. 
then, then you want to pull that back and get this yellow one, take it top, and then just hook it. Now you're going to do that on this side and then hook it and to the top. And then you want to do that repeating on this side. So pull that one. It can be a little tricky, but you'll get the hang of it. Remember to push it down for easy access. And okay, so I'm going to teach you one more time how to do this, and I'm just going to fast forward it. So again, this can be tricky. Just be patient, and you'll be doing it in no time. Which band is this? And it doesn't really matter which side you go first. You hook first. You don't have to do this rainbow, you can do it. Uh, you can make this any colors you like and you want to. So again, just following the same steps. And you can pause this video if you think this is tricky. That's what the pause button is for. So it should look like this. And you're gonna pick this all over to the top of the room. So I'm just gonna fast. Sorry guys, this is part two of my honeycomb video. My camera battery just died. Okay, so you want to make sure the arrows are pointing away from you. And what you want to do, this point is take your S clip. And you want to put it in all of this element. So how I do this is, you watch. Just gonna take my hook and Oops, can, this can be very tricky, at least for me, <laughs> because I'm not too good at making it. Okay, come off. And. Okay. Okay, so once I've got that hook done, I'm just gonna pull it off of the loom. Okay, now I'm just going to secure that with a S. And if your wrist is bigger than mine, then um, I think you might need an extension. But my wrist is pretty small and I don't need an extension. So, it looks like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.